what it do research bringing you some world at war team deathmatch on cliffside yes sir had to bring it back had to bring it back it's older gameplay it's what i was talking about last vid and uh there she blows so yeah Springfield here, certainly not the exclusive weapon of choice this particular round, but a couple of decent shots. But it's like I say, anytime I'm playing, uh, I'm playing this game, it'd be hard pressed to see me use anything else. It is the only gun that I love to use. Uh, I'd go with the PTRS too, but I always love the pop of the Springfield. You know, back when uh, me and Insanity. Used to uh, 1v1 quick scope all the time on dome. It was the gun you got used to. It was always kind of the the roachy kids that chose to use the PTRS, you know, spamming you. So it's fun though. Good times, dude. World at War brings back some of the most incredible memories that I have of uh, multiplayer online. Period. I, it was what a what what a cool time, dude. Like that whole like rise, you know, the rise from like obscurity to like having confidence, you know. It was dude, it's fucking awesome. Like I met Blaze playing a game of S and D on Castle, I think. I don't even know why I was playing S and D. I, I think I really got into it at some point. I can't remember why or how, but at this point I was sniping. I had been watching Hutch videos trying to get better, and I playing all by myself. And uh, I was trying to learn how to quick scope in S and D lobbies, and uh, all of a sudden on the other team there's this kid, man, Blaze Sniper. And uh, yeah, I was like, I was, uh, I can't remember, but I was, I was kind of going pretty try hard with the snipe, trying to, trying to clutch, you know. Except this time, you know, I had clutched a couple times, and like you were addicted to clutching, you know, like there was just something fucking so tight about clutching, and. Uh, yeah, dude, he ended up messaging me being like something, something you're good, and I'm like, got a long ways to go. I don't even forget the message, that's pretty crazy. You know, because I certainly didn't think I was good, but, and I'm not. But, um, yeah. And then having, like, uh, tryouts and shit with other teams, and like, dude, it's so funny. And then running into the Juice crew. The Juice crew. Glocks and Juice. Rich, kicking it with Savage. My God, dude. H Town. Who the fuck else, dude? I can't even think of everybody. I can't even remember. That was fucking awesome. That was so fun. I had tons of fun with that. Probably my favorite time in my Call of Duty uh, history. Resides on the PlayStation 3 playing World at War. On my uh, 10 sensitivity. Going Grizz, dude. I remember running bolt actions, no scope, right? Like, just straight bolt action with maybe like a bayonet. In S and D, on ten, you're just going super hard, dude. So fun, best time. Maybe that's what I should do, man. I'm gonna try and get a gameplay just with no scope on there, dude. I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and find a lobby that doesn't suck ass, dude. Just give her a shot. Yeah, the fucking knife. Lesbian status. I'm not sure if that was a chick or not. Probably, but she'd just stand there and spam with the fucking Type 99 and just get dieseled. So, hit fire with the Type. Oh, sad. So sorry I yawn in every commentary, dude. I do these like at night. Finally, when I get a chance to like sit down and like breathe after. Ugh. What do I want to talk about? So, yeah. So I try and do. But, uh, yeah, man, I miss being, like, super dope with a sniper rifle in this game. I miss that shit. I miss going in and trying to get montage clips. <laughs> dude, speaking of that, dude, I did my montage is just, like, like over a year and a half old. old. And, uh, dude, I recorded that in probably, I don't know, Blaze, if you remember, maybe, like, a week. And, like, I had all these clips, and, like, shit was getting lost, and, like, 
I was going through all this gameplay and like, oh my god, dude, I hated every minute of that. It was the absolute worst time ever. The cool thing about doing a Taj was like, it pushed you to want to do other stuff and like push yourself to try shots you hadn't. You know? And then it was even better when you actually got it. It was just hard because you had to go through all that fucking gameplay. You know? Really frustrating process. Fucking kill myself here. It's stupid. I knew that's where I dropped it, dude. It's just being dumb. But, um, yeah. So, uh, it was fun, dude. I love making that Taj. That was so much fun. Like, getting the shots. And then making it, dude. I got so frustrated. I was in school, too. So, I just do that shit together. Like, snap fast. Fucking just got rid of it, dude. I just hated doing it. it sucked. Never do it again. If I ever do a Taj, it'll be red guns. And it's kind of hard in this, because I'm still learning the software. So, like, how to, sp how to like, just cut out clips out of certain games and stuff. I mean, I've dumped, like, so many good clips, because I didn't know how, and I just got rid of the gameplay. So, that's alright. I like to think I can come up with gameplay. You know, I don't think it's epically hard to go in and pick up some gameplays. So, I'll keep it coming for you guys. Because you are my people, and I love you. Right? Huh? You guys gonna vote for me on Idol next season or what? Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie, you're jealous of my vocals, dude. I mean, seriously, I have been called the songbird of my generation. So, uh, that's the way it is. It's the way the cookie kingdom crumbles, folks. I'd love, dude, I'd love to just log into World at War and just find a game like you used to. So tight. There's tons of people playing. Yo, you're like, oh boy, I'm bored. I'm gonna go, I don't know, get the bayonet for the Type 99 and TDM or, oh, let's go play War and just hammer kids, you know? War, the best game type ever built by Call of Duty. You cannot argue that. That was the best game type ever built for Call of Duty. As long as you were running with a full party, it was the best game type ever. That is the way you get kills. And I finished off the STG4. 4 OP, yes sir, 30 and 5. So not brutally horrible, and not epically great, but it is World at War and it was on fucking cliff side. And it allowed me to go down memory lane, mentally, with all of you. Which leads me to my final, final statement. I love all of you. You're the best. Thank you for watching. Research out.